Alrighty, next game up here. Saints at the Titans, and we were this close, folks. We were half a point hooks away from our cash cow of the Titans once again getting milked to the bone, folks. But unfortunately, the Titans only win by two, 23 to 21. We had the Titans minus two and a half. Ugh. But, but, unofficially, we were right on the money, folks. Unofficially, absolutely, we were right about this Titans team and all that. Once again, getting disrespected by the spread line because the Titans were up by eight on this final drive and actually had the Saints at a third and 13 from the 15-yard line, uh, you know, before they go down and score that touchdown. So, the Titans defense was really kind of very close to winning by eight here, which would have solidified our special bonus pick that we we had on uh, Wednesdays with Wheels, the podcast that we were featured on this week. We told their their audience to go Titans minus six and a half, but they were winning by eight. So unofficially, we're basically right on the money. Unfortunately, they give up a third and 15, third and 13 for a touchdown. Unfortunately. Um, and also the drive before this drive where they really had a chance to really kind of ice the clock. They were way, they were way too kind of, um, uh, they were way too, the Titans were way too conservative on this last drive here to try to eat up some clock. They were up by eight. There was five minutes left. They're starting at their own 25-yard line. So, yes, you want to eat up the clock, but you also want to kind of move the ball and maybe even put it away. You can put it away by scoring a touchdown because now you make it two possessions here. So, I was really disappointed with the Titans' play calling here. This was their final drive before the Saints uh, go down and score the touchdown. They missed a two-point conversion. Uh, that's why they only won by by two. I was a little hoping they made the two-point conversion. Then Titans won by a field goal in overtime. So our minus two hit. But uh, overall, the Titans win. So mm -hmm. once again, Vegas is still disrespecting them like we know. Uh, but this was their last drive, folks. Five-yard run, six-yard run, minus five-yard run, pass incomplete, run for no gain on third and 15. So in the second and 15 was just a short pass. So they were real conservative there. I didn't really like it. Um, the minus five-yard run because the same knew they were running the ball. I mean, they ran the ball the last two times. They know they're just trying to run out the clock here. They made it so obvious to everybody. So the Saints pressured, sent the house, and they blow up the run five yards in the backfield. And then they go dink and dunk on the second and, uh, second and 15, incomplete. And then third and 15, uh, just... Run for no gain. You run the ball on third and 15. You don't try to get a penalty. You don't try to move the ball. You just kind of give in. I didn't really love what they did there. So a little disappointed in the Titans um, and how they kind of managed the game on the very end. And truly unfortunate, they gave up that touchdown to make it a two-point game at the end of the day. Uh, but let's start here with this Titans team. Ryan Tannehill goes 19 of 17. What do we got here? 19 of 17. It's, um, oops, that was not it. That is not it because that is not a number. <laughs> 19 of 17. Here we go. 19, geez, 19 of 27. Geez, Louise. Uh, 19 of 27. 70% completion percentage. We like that. 213 yards and 19 completions. Not really dinking and dunking. We'll take that. One touchdown, no pick. Anybody fumble here? Ryan Tannehill fumbled but didn't lose it, so no turnovers here by the Titans. Another green flag on why we like this Titans team. And then running the ball wise, it's, uh, it's still not clicking and flowing here without Derrick Henry still. So another concern here uh, with this Titans team is the running game. Basically their only concern. Deontay Foreman, 11 carries for 30 yards. Adrian Peterson, 8 carries for 21 yards. Jeremy McNichols, 4 carries for 7 yards. So they just don't have that running back. Obviously, we've known this. That's why Derrick Henry was getting every carry every single game. That's why it wasn't a running back by committee here in Tennessee because there was nobody that could stack up to what Derrick Henry does or even remotely or closely or anything like that. We saw it last night as well. Truly unfortunate. And then who was Ryan Tannehill throwing the ball to? Still, or no, um, a or Julio Jones. I, the hamstring is acting up still. 
So Ryan Tannehill throws a Marcus Johnson, leading receiver, five catches for 100 yards. We'll see if he can truly emerge here as a wide receiver, too. Uh, Deontay Foreman, two catches, 48 yards. Jeff Swain, four catches, 26 yards. A.J. Brown only had one catch for 16 yards. Nick Westbrook, Akeen, one catch, 10 yards. Chester Rogers, one catch, nine yards. McCoy Pruitt, one catch, two yards, touchdown. Anthony Fersker, one catch, two yards. Jeremy McNichols, one catch, one yard. Des Fitzpatrick, one catch, no yard. Adrian Peterson, one catch, negative one yard. So, gotta find somebody else to really get the ball to. We've seen kind of Ryan Tannehill, uh, you know, without Derrick Henry, find somebody to get going real early and often. In this game, it was a little bit of Marcus Johnson leading the team in receiving yards with 100. Real solid there. So, we'll see if this Titans team is the real deal as the season continues to progress without Derrick Henry, but it is definitely uh, big time showing here. Big, bright light here that this running game is not what it needs to be to really kind of uh, continue to uh, for this Titans team to continue to win games they need the running game to start getting a little bit better out here Alrighty, and then this Saints team now. Trevor Simeon goes 19 of 34. Remember, coming into this game, we were still impressed with Trevor Simeon, and this would made it so a little tough this week because we've been so big on the Titans, but we just got big on Trevor Simeon, but we still liked the Titans over the Saints, and the Titans win by two. But either way, Trevor Simeon goes 19 of 34. Ooh, 55% completion percentage, but he had 298 passing yards on 19 completions. Fantastic. It's stretch the field vertically, uh, not dinking and dunking. So big shout out to Trevor Simeon. Two touchdowns, no picks. Um, he didn't fumble. Deontay Harris fumbled once and lost it. Let's see where this fumble came. Fumble came off the off of halftime here. Saints get the ball first, and they fumble on the very first play, and the uh, Titans were right in great field position at the Saints 19-yard line and capitalized with a touchdown. Um, so that's truly unfortunate there by the Saints. Definitely can't. You just lost all momentum instantly. Gave all that momentum to the Titans. Cannot be doing that. Uh, Taysom Hill got into the game twice, uh, throwing the ball two of two for 11 yards, utilized him in the red zone as well. Um, we're going to see him rushing the ball here in a second, but uh, Mark Ingram, 14 carries for 47 yards and a touchdown. Remember there was no Alvin Kamara in this game. And then Taysom Hill ran the ball three times for 23 yards. Sean Payton said we'd see more Taysom Hill and we did see more Taysom Hill, but overall Trevor Simeon kind of got it done. Still a little impressed by him. And I think we're definitely buying him heading into next week as well. All right, who was Trevor Simeon throwing the ball to? We had Deontay Harris, leading receiver, three catches for 84 yards. Mark Ingram, four catches, 61 yards. Trey Quan Smith, four catches, 44 yards, and a touchdown. Can we still get this man the ball? Marquez Callaway, two catches, 37 yards, and a touchdown. Once again, get him the ball as well. Marquez Callaway, uh, you know, with the Jameis Winston connection, you can go deep here. Got, got Marquez Callaway the ball here, and he scores a touchdown on two catches. Fantastic. Juwan Johnson, two catches, 36 yards. Adrian Troutman, five catches, 32 yards. And Taysom Hill caught one pass for 15 yards. So he threw two balls, ran three balls, caught a ball. Obviously utilizing Taysom Hill exactly how the Saints team loves to utilize Taysom Hill. Unfortunately, just come up a little bit short here. Like we said, they had the touchdown here um, on their very last drive. Unfortunately, missed the two-point conversion. Trevor Simeon to Mark Ingram, pass incomplete. Womp, womp. Um, they were trying to use Taysom Hill out there, uh, but they go off sides and it makes it from the seven yard line instead of the two yard line. So they wanted to use Taysom Hill at the two yard line, which would have been the smart call because you can do so much with them. Uh, but with uh, one play from the seven yard line, can't really use Taysom Hill in that kind of regard. So truly unfortunate there. Titans hold on to win 23 to 21. 